paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. sure he was dead. Oh yes, as was the doctor and the pathologist and the undertaker. Always pays to be certain with Simon. Life won't be the same without him. Mm. Oh Lord, something's never changed. Come on, Mitch. Mitch Kingdom! Mitch Mr. Kingdom! Fine. Man of iron. Fabulous. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> um, Lyle Anderson. Kate. Kate. Right. You've got a crowd where you don't want one. Huh? Oh! Oh, now! Um, uh, yes. Um, get off! At least have a cup of tea. Dad, I have to go. I've done your shopping for you. I'm late for work as it is. I see. So I'm all on my own again, am I? It's not like that, Dad. You know I've got work to go to. You hardly ever drop by. I don't need to. You ring me seven times a day. Uh, I still have a grandson, do I, eh? Yes. You don't have your breakfast, Millie. It's all right for some. Good Lord, it's the creature from the Shipra Lagoon. Army. I think they own the place. I am going to take them to the cleaners. Legally, obviously. Not literally. I'll take my clothes to the cleaners. Morning. When did you stop being 12? Has my new desk arrived? Desk? It's a gift. What new desk? From my mum, for qualifying. Has this been through the office furniture subcommittee? Personal gift, so it's exempt. Don't talk to me. Don't ask me to do anything. I just need a moment. So, how is your father? <gasps> if that's him, I've emigrated. Kingdom and kingdom. 
Hello, Tony. I'll be right out. So, it's time to road test the ramp. <laughs> right, Tony, we'll uh, get you sorted out in a twinkle if I can just work out how this goes. Uh, <laughs> point. Just says slot A into tab A, and there's no sign of where either of those. See, the thing is, it says here about. Ooh. Nice set of wheels, Mr. King. See, that's what I really miss. I get my right arm to be driving again. <laughs> You're kidding me. Well, that's it, is it? Half a leg and a bloody nafta pie. Bit cheap, isn't it? No, Tony, we don't have to accept this. Look, I appreciate your help, Mr. Kingdom, but I, I don't want any fuss. What happened, happened. You know, I'm the lucky one. A few of us didn't make it out at all. We can fight, we can launch an appeal. There are plenty of other Iraq veterans taking on the MOD. Look at that. St. Bernard's big car boot sale spent about eight quid, not so much as a sniff of a date. Perhaps a car boot sale isn't the best place to find love. Or maybe you should have a consultation from Nigel here. I'm a counsellor, not a matchmaker. <laughs> Perhaps I need counselling. Oh, all right then. Um, when was your last date? 2002. That's going to take a few sessions, and uh, I don't come cheap. Hey, do you mind? I spent 20 pence on that. Ted, this is Georgian silver. It's worth about 500 quid. Nigel! Well, Tony, you've delivered for your country. I'll see to it that your country delivers for you. Lyle! Ramp. Don't ring your seat, mate. That thing is heavy. <laughs> hi! Hi there. Um, hi. Ramp, Vile. Everything okay? Yeah, we're moving on. Mr. Keenum's got everything under control. We'll do our very best, I promise. It's all right, come on. I'm just a local solicitor. This could be out of our league. I promised him his country will deliver, but will it? Will we? Any suggestions? So open she was single. Mr. Anderson. Desk delivery. Yes. <laughs> I can't. It's pretty straightforward, they tell me. You just sort of reach out and grab the handset. It'll be Dad. I can tell by its ring. Kingdom solicited. Hello, Cyril. Yes, it is. Yet, yeah. uh, No, no, she's out, I'm afraid. What? What a woo? Oh, yes, 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 got it. Yep, I'll tell her. If you say so. I'll let her know. Bye-bye. Cuppa soups, apparently. And uh, where has ITV4 gone on the Freeview box? Is there an ITV4? It's attention-seeking. Whatever I do from is never enough. Anyone got a screwdriver?
Yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm sorry, I think there's been some sort of mistake. Why me? Because you're his grandson, and you're not trying to hold down a job and placate him all at the same time. It's a gross injustice. Well, if life was fair, I'd have to shut up shop. Hi. Peter. Oh, hello, Nigel. How's your reconciliation with the lovely Rosie going? I wonder, could I borrow some books on family law? Oh, no. Who's she run off with this time? Oh, no one. We've never been happier. I'm a marriage counsellor now. <laughs> Haven't you got something simpler? Well, I'm sure. Lyle will have an idiot's guide. I could ask him. Tell me, Nigel, when did you decide on this career change? It was when Rosie had an affair with your late brother. And the one with the bloke from the garage. And the lad from the estate agents? Yes. All of them, I suppose. Well, it all had to stop. And I, obviously, wasn't giving her something. Right. Then I realised the secret to any relationship is communication. Her desires, her wanderings were just a cry for help. What she really wanted was more of me. So I had a thought. Give something back. So marriage guidance is for me. <laughs> right. So you've um, given up all your other voluntary work, have you? The, the um, crazy golf for the over 70s, all that? Oh, no. Still help most evenings. This way, Miss Mitchells. New desk. What can I do you for? I've been sexually discriminated against. By the army, by the Blues and Royals. Not that lot who ride along the beach. Exactly. The ones that kicked sand in your face. Well, Kate, you've certainly come to the right man. It was so humiliating. They said they'd made an administrative error, that I shouldn't have even been invited for my interview in the first place. So I asked why. Because I'm a woman. Wait right there. <clears throat> So, um, usually when the army turns you down for one regiment, they do offer you an alternative. I don't want alternatives. I want to be in the Blues and Royals. Look, I am fit enough, I'm quick enough, I'm good enough. You can't argue with that. I mean, if she can't join the cavalry, then I don't know who can. I came to you because you know the regiment. You are dealing with Tony Gillespie's compensation case, aren't you? Yes, but I'm afraid I can't discuss that case with you, Miss Mitchells. Good, because he mustn't know anything about this. Don't tell him anything. Grandad's! 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 Why doesn't she want to tell him? I thought relationships were all about openness and sharing. You come back to me when you've had a few more relationships yourself. It's none of our business. That is a ridiculous sized desk. That is a ridiculous sized office. Kingdom solicitors. Same family, different generation. Scott. Scott? No. There must be something behind it. Well, there is. She's a girl. I can't. You see, it's symptomatic of the way the establishment view women. So do Girls I. can't fight. They want to go to oh. Leeds on a Saturday night. SAS wouldn't come out alive. What do you mean he wasn't there? He's always there. Did you knock? Peter. It could be lying dead on the floor. I suppose. 
couldn't have left the keys in the ignition. That's my car. My lovely, beautiful, gorgeous car. Where is it? It's been stolen. It's an Alvis 1965 drophead coupe T21. Okay? Okay. Hurry up, Peter, please. It's Alice Blue with grey leather interior. If you see some joy riding hoodie driving in, you let me know. Peter! You're all right. Where have you been? Here. Have you got my copper soups? We thought you were dead. Yes, Scott brought them down. No, it wasn't Scott. No, it, it was some other boy. Oh, no, that's minestrone. I don't want minestrone. Tomato. Come back when you've got tomato. Deep breath. Count to ten. Think of angels. And I'm out of bread. Bread! So, you want to join the army? Yes, sir. I do, sir. Sir! And why do you want to become a soldier? Uh, the weapons. I, I want to join your lot, the Blues and Royals. Right. Well, normally we take you straight from school, but I suppose if you're older, you're wiser. What are you doing at the moment? I work in an office. Doing? A job. And that job is? Managerial. Name? Lyle Anderson. And you're male? Yes, but what if I wasn't? What if I was a girl? Are you having some sort of operation? No, 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 uh, hypothetically. What if I was a girl? Then the Blues and Royals isn't for you. Because of my sex. Because of combat effectiveness. Combat effectiveness. No, Alvis, A-L-V-I-S for stolen. As in Alvis, as in Alvis has left the building. No, don't. <sighs> Green sleeves again. Shane, I liked your car. Yes, well, as a matter of fact, so did I. Professional job, I reckon. Probably stolen to order. Who knew you had it and kept it here? Well, the whole, the whole of Market Shipper. This is where every day it's parked in. Uh, that's gone for good. It's probably on a container ship steaming out of Harwich as we speak. Aren't all real? Nice colour. <laughs> Peter? Ministry of Defence. Peter Kingdom. It's not a battle between you and him. It's a battle between you and your head. That is not good enough! Peter, have you ever heard of combat effectiveness? <sighs> sorry. Oh. Really sorry about your car. Hmm? No, it's, it's nothing to do with my car. I've just been on the phone to the Ministry of Blasted Defence. They keep putting me through to some Whitehall inadequate. Tony is the sole survivor of a roadside bomb in Iraq. He lost his leg and an eye. And they have itemised his compensation. £46,000 for his leg, if you please. 8625 for his eye. Yes, and it might well be that low because of the sliding scale. Apparently, if you suffer multiple injuries in the same incident, they pay you less for each one. This man, these men, they fought a war in our name. Not in my name. Well, support the war or not, they... They put themselves in the front line. You agree to serve the Queen, and she agrees to look after you. Yeah, but she's 80-something. Don't see her changing any bandages. No, it's the Crown. It's the Queen and country. A contract between a soldier and his nation. 
each promising to protect the other. In theory, it's, well, such a, such a noble concept. I'm sorry, um, you were saying something about combat effectiveness? No, don't worry, I'll sort it. Afternoon, Lord Keeper. Oh, it's a lovely day. Oh, hi there. Mum, stop it. Came up from Barton this morning. Uh, we're hoping to make Trenton uh, by nightfall. I don't think so. Not this time. Best you go back to where you came from, because you're not going through my lock. I'm sorry? But you're right, though. It is uh, It's a lovely day. <laughs> Now, come on, Gloria. I thought we covered this earlier. Book one, lesson one, page one, answering the phone. We grasp, we lift, we extend. Kingdom and kingdom. Hello, Cyril. <laughs> what? What? Cyril, I hope you haven't raised your fist to anyone. Oh. Cyril! Cyril! Bugger. Cyril! I left the baby in the trolley. You left the watch in the what? Oh, for God's sake, Peter, don't fuss. I'm about to make an announcement. Petra, darling, it's Mummy. I am so Excuse sorry, me, you darling. Can't do I didn't have to leave you behind. Wherever you are, just give me a nice big squeeze. This is waterway robbery. You're an extortionist. I shall report you. I have friends of the Admiralty. It is nothing short of blackmail. Don't you wave your finger at me. I'm perfectly within my rights to refuse you passage. Dad! Cyril, please. He's demanding £170 to let us through this lock. So sorry. We'll have you through the lock in no time. Either they pay it or they go back to where they came from. Dad! Please! You should be in an old people's home. Don't you tell me where I should be or not be. Your boat does not have a navigation license, and under the powers vested in me by the Market Shipborough Navigation Act of 1793, I have the right to collect the money or refuse passage. A navigation license? And what might that be when it's at home? Well, it's, it's you know, like a road tax, only for boats. If you're not going to pay up, then you turn your vessel round and you go back to where you came from. You are not obstructing my life. Dad, please. We are not going anywhere. You'll have to make us. The lady is not for turning. <laughs> you do have a copy of the 1793 Act. Of course not. It's all up here. Minor problem. The army has an exemption from the Sex Discrimination Act. All the windows in the house are open. Do you want him to hear? Sorry. I thought you said I had a case. Well, there's this thing called combat effectiveness. You see, in the Blues and Royals, you don't just ride horses. Yeah, I know. They're an armoured reconnaissance regiment as well. They do formation recce's in scimitars. It's what Tony was driving when the bomb went off. Well, their point is that if you were locked up and enclosed in a tank for several days with a group of men, then it wouldn't be conducive for warfare. There is, however, an anomaly that we might base a case on. What are you doing here? New rider. I forgot my hat. I'm going to the pub. Cool. There's a regiment that already takes women and deploys them in similar armoured vehicles, so my theory is, if you're good enough for one outfit, then why not the other? I want to serve Lyle, and I want to serve in the Blues and Royals. Even after what happened to Tony? Because of what happened to Tony. I don't know how you do it, Sydney. 
Like you're someone with a magnet to women. I don't say much, do she? No. Well, so how do you know she likes you? Ah, oh, Ted, with women, it's not what they say, it's what they do. I, I think you filled your boots, mate. Oh, sorry, I, I, I don't mean that. What's happening to Sam, mate? Sam? No, no, he didn't mean anything by telling me. I don't want no trouble. Come on, come on, we'll get, we, we'll get you back, yeah? Hello? Come on. Oh. Let's get you home. I'm going to go home. Yes, you do. Observant of you. I wouldn't have believed that those peepers of yours could still work. Put us back immediately. Can't do that. Oh, the police. We're being kidnapped. Uh, yes, Mother. It's 5 a.m. And? Well, is it absolutely necessary to make guacamole at this hour? It's not guacamole, it's avocado surprise! Can we come to some kind of arrangement? Yes, we can, actually. I gather you have a case involving those rather lovely soldiers with tight breeches who ride along the sands. Now, as your sister and as a woman keen to rediscover her sexuality having given birth, I must insist on an introduction. That is not the kind of arrangement I had in mind. Kingdom and King... <laughs> Gloria? What the... What? Gentlemen, no, if you just no, calm no. down a moment, we'll get this all sorted. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time, please. He kidnapped us. No, unfortunately, oh. it's true. Dad, I give up. Kidnapped? Where did he take you? From here. To here. Huh. Not exactly crime of the century. Yes, but unfortunately, the amount of distance that kidnapping takes place over is not an issue. They were carried by force without their consent. The question really is whether there was lawful excuse. Until you can show me your precious lockkeeper man act of parliament, we will not back down. Neither will I. So what time are you going to start picking me out of the dirt, then? You know I'm covered in bruises from yesterday? Look, I got one in the perfect shape of a horseshoe. Tony, you have to stop relying on me to bring you home drunk. So you seem to be quite keen on that young lawyer. I'm teaching him to ride. Ooh. You've got a letter from the regiment. Well, aren't you going to open it? He doesn't seem to acknowledge that I have a life. Well, he wouldn't, would he? I mean, as you get older, you become more self-centred. Your family moves away, your friends start dying, your whole world shrinks. He just assumes that everything is completely perfect in my life. My first priority is Scott, but... I can't just abandon my dad. You mustn't be hard on yourself. Sometimes people just don't know how to ask for help. Mm. I'm afraid they haven't increased their offer and they won't, even if we appeal. It's a, it's a fixed tariff system. So sorry. You did what you could, mate. 
I do have a friend in London who's dealing with a number of cases like yours. It might take some time, but there's a real possibility of further action. This, this lump sum compensation doesn't mean that you can't sue for negligence. What for? There was no negligence. I got blown up by a bomb. Well, time being, we have to decide what you're going to do. I don't want to leave the regiment. What if they medically discharge you? No, that can't happen. Well, if you do leave, you would be entitled to tax-free guaranteed income payments for life. Oh, that's fantastic. Strike up the band, let's hang out the flags. I mean, what am I supposed to do for the rest of my life? I can't do anything else. I'm a soldier. I should have died. Dying would have been easier. I know it's difficult, and it shouldn't be. But you have the choice of life. I promise you, we'll do everything we can to make it easier. But Tony, I have to say, drinking doesn't help. Maybe not, but it stops the nightmares. I know what started this. This is because that nice man took his mother on holiday, isn't it? It's because they haven't got a navigation No, license. Dad, that's just an excuse. You wanted to make a point. It exists. The act exists. You've got to believe me. I don't like being on my own, Gloria. I'm lonely. And what about me? All I get is do this, do that. Where's this? Where's the other? I was a widow at 46. I've got a 15-year-old son at home who misses his dad. I've just come out of a relationship with a very sweet man who's already seeing another woman. Well, you should have said. Why? What's the point? You never ask. No, it's not a replacement. It's a... it's... I don't know what it is. Well, they're all the same, aren't they? Oh, brilliant. We can get a babysit in the back of that. It is not brilliant. I don't want it. Yes, you do. The Alvis was fine if you wanted to get laid, but there are three of us now. You had sex in my car? That's where I conceived. Front or back? Bonnet, mostly. You told me those dents were where you ran into a pigeon! It cost me £400 to put those right. They were buttock marks, weren't they? You can be so spiteful sometimes. You won't even introduce me to a single cavalry man with a sword down to his ankles. <laughs> Love the car. Don't be an arse, Lyle. Have you got a minute? My office. Ah, yes. Your spacious cathedral of an office. Get in there. Kate has received a letter confirming her rejection from the Blues and Royals on the basis of her sex and combat effectiveness. Well, it's refreshingly honest, I suppose. They also say she would make a great candidate and recommend she applies to the Royal Horse Artillery. Blanket refusal from her wants me to pursue this technical anomaly and has given me a check against future costs. So what's your dilemma? I don't know, just something I can't reconcile. What if she knew that women weren't allowed in? And this is just an elaborate way of getting back at the regiment for leaving Tony up the creek without a paddle. It's not the regiment that sets the levels of compensation, it's the Ministry of Defence. Nevertheless. So you think we're being set up? Yeah, I just wish I could make it easier for him. And he's lost a leg and an eye, and he's basically been told he's got no future. Yes, but... No, well, you can't win every battle, Peter. Well, I can't bear how lonely he must be. None of us have the faintest idea what he's been going through. Oh, follow me. Speak up. He's as deaf as a post, aside from not being able to see you. Oh, how did he lose his sight? Dunkirk. Uh, Mr. Hickey, my nephew Peter would like to have a chat with you. Certainly. <laughs> oh, and Peter. That's for your soldier boy. I hate automatics, and the colour is ghastly. Uh, Mr. Hickey, I understand you were at Dunkirk. Lyle, come out from under your tunnel. We're going now. Where are you going? See the army. Two seconds. No, no, absolutely not. But I need a soldier in my life, Peter. I want to join in his exercises. I have desires. I need them fulfilled. Where did you get these keys? I don't know. When did you take my car? The car. 
Oh, God. Oh, God, is it still there? Where? I don't know. Well, you have a baby. See what it does to your brain. I knew I'd forgotten something. Where is my car? Here's some shops. Which shops? No, no. How can you not remember? Because it's not important! It's only a car! with all the tin plate and plumage. Well, it's ceremonial now. Dates back to the reign of Charles II, I believe. Not very relevant, though, is it? Well, what a dull world it would be if everything existed only because it was relevant. Now, all I'm saying is that the whole place smacks of the establishment, you know? You're only allowed in if you call Rupert or Toby. Lyle, that you? It bloody is, isn't it? Skinner? Skinner. Fancy suit. Me? I'm, I'm just a lawyer. Who's this, your dad? No, uh, this is my senior partner, Peter Kingdom. Peter, this is Nobby Skinner. We were at school. Nobby. Delighted, Nobby. Nice to meet you. Well, bugger me, what are you doing here, eh? I am aware of Miss Kate Mitchell's. Uh, you know she tried to join the Blue World. Yes. I spoke to her about it personally. So she already knew the policy before turning up? She lied on her application form. We all know Kate Lyle. Well, because she's the girlfriend of Peter's client, Tony Gillespie. Girlfriend of Tony Gillespie? No, she's not. But they lived together. Yeah, after he was discharged from hospital. She was the girlfriend of a troop leader, Captain Davidson. Was? Yes, Lyle. So she isn't anymore? No. Oh, I see. That makes complete sense. Ex-girlfriend syndrome. He packed her in, so this is some elaborate way of getting back at him. Not quite. Johnny Davidson was killed by a roadside bomb in Iraq. Tony Gillespie was the only survivor. One of Johnny's last letters asked her to marry him. They never got to choose a ring. So her striving to join the Blues and Royals was really just a way of trying to keep in touch with her boyfriend. Poor child. No wonder she didn't want Tony to know. I don't think she's come to terms with what happened. Tony lived, her man died. Looking after Tony means she doesn't have to think about what really happened. Why didn't the compensation case throw up her name? Well, Captain Davidson's next of kin was named as his parents. As the girlfriend, Kate didn't get a look in. Mum, Mum, just step aside. Step aside. We just ring his daughter. We may not have time. I remember where I parked it. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> I think I run some sort of charity. Kingdom and Kingdom. No. When? Which hospital? Why didn't you tell me you'd been having blackouts? Well, I thought that if people knew I'd lose my job, but I didn't know what it was. I was frightened. That's why you wanted me to keep coming round. There's a chance that he's been telling the truth all the time and that this navigation act of his actually exists. Local council offices, I've spoken to them. And there's a large, dusty filing cabinet somewhere on the third floor. Mr. Snell, I really need your help. Sure you wouldn't prefer someone else, Mrs. Millington? No, Sydney. You're the man I need. Who's here? I promise. Oh, you really are a piece of work, aren't you, Beatrice? Well, maybe they'll bring it back. Sorry. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? Sorry. Well, you've got to listen to me when I'm groveling, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Okay. 
What are you doing? It's not good for my head being here. I feel like I'm second best. I want you to be here. But I can't replace Johnny. I lived and he died. And you've got to stop feeling sorry for me. Oh, my God, I do not feel sorry for you. I asked you here because I thought it would help you. Help me? You've been using me. That's not true. You needed help and I thought I knew something of what you'd been through. Lyle, stay here. Oh, well, don't worry, mate. I'm going. Oh, he's not my boyfriend, Tony. He is my lawyer. He's been trying to get me into the regiment. What? What? They'll never let you in. I mean, how can you even contemplate I needed to know up? what he'd been through. All I have is memories. I've decided to join the Royal Horse Artillery. They take women. What is it you're trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. Then give me one good reason why. Give me one good reason why not. Here. I mean, the army was my life, right? Just like it was Johnny's life. We knew the risks. We knew this might happen. Our only talents were being soldiers. And I love every damn minute. He wouldn't want you chasing his shadow. He'd want you to give your life to your talent, your horses. Just like he gave his life to his. You're gonna do what you want. Whatever I say. What happened to your Alvis? Oh, uh, Alvis lives, I'm happy to say. Tell you what, why don't you drive? But Mr. Kingdom, I can't. Ah, but this... This is a specially adapted automatic, literally built for you. Apart from the colour. Yes, my Aunt Oriel won this off Barbara Cartland at a game of poker. I thought it might come in useful. Oh, you're not suggesting I live in an old people's home? No, no, no. It looks like you'll be staying with Kate. I had a word with the Major, and he's confirmed that the regiment wants to keep you. See, these people know what it's like to live through a war and live on afterwards. The world out there has no idea. I came back to a country that understood. They'd been through it too. When the boys come out of hospital today, it's so different. You should be proud. Navigation Channel Act, 1793. It actually exists. Oh, well. Pay him the money, dear. That is... 170. Well, it's a bit of luck that I didn't enforce Section 42, or that would have had you transported to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've paid for a navigation licence. We'd better be going. Thank you for saving my father's life. It's a good job he didn't let us through. And if anyone tries to stop you working because of your age, I'll write and tell them how good you are. Oh, thanks. Goodbye. Safe journey, both of you. Thank, thank you. Thank Bye. You so much. Thanks for the tea. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Thank you. Come on, Grandad. Let's Come open on. the lock. What? Oh, there you are. You've got those... Yeah, good. Let's go and open this lock. OK, remember, grip with your knees and keep your hands low, right? Just seeing if it still fits. Don't kick. Just squeeze. 
Um, excuse me, if I'm giving up on the army, then this is still my establishment and this is my pupil, Corporal. Um, is this really quite fair on the horse, do we think? As a last request, can I please have a bigger office? Absolutely not. Come on, Lyle. Squeeze. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm all right, all right. Oops. 